Hello friends, this is Abhijit and today in server storage services we are going to see the lab of creating the VHD that is creating the virtual hard disk. As we know when we talk about a virtual hard disk it is a disk which we create virtually inside the physical disk which is there and this virtual hard disk can be used for the virtual machines and virtual machines can use this virtual disk as a physical disk for them. So if I want to save some information inside a virtual disk, so that virtual hard disk I can create, I can save the information, I can create a machine, I can attach this virtual hard disk to that virtual machine or any virtual machine which is created if you, if you want to attach a virtual hard disk and we want to configure something or we want to save something inside the disk. So for that all purpose of virtual machine and its storage requirement what we require is called as a virtual hard disk. Now when we talk about virtual hard disk so what we require or what are the steps to create a virtual hard disk so that we are going to see in today's practical. Remember that from the point of virtualization in Microsoft or Windows server this point is really important where in virtualization you will require the creation of virtual hard disk you will require attaching a virtual hard disk to a machine so first we will see that how to create a virtual hard disk so this is today's practical what we are going to see today so this is our windows server machine the dashboard of the machine that is server manager dashboard is in front of us so we will click on tools option so click on tools go to the computer management option and as we know that whenever we are doing anything related with the disk or the space which is available always we go to the option of disk management so click on disk management this is the this this option will show you how many disks are there in your particular machine that these are the disks which are available or connected to your machine now how to create a virtual hard disk so it is really simple just right click on disk management and you will see two options available create VHD and attach VHD these options are available from this menu also if you click on action you can see the same two menus displayed over here create VHD and attach VHD so it is your choice from where you want to go right click and say maybe create VHD now in this window just see what it what, what actually it is asking first it is asking you for the location of the virtual hard disk where actually you want to create the virtual hard disk where the file of this VHD will be stored so what I will do I will click on browse button I want this virtual hard disk to be created on the E drive so I will select the E drive open and I will use some file name for that drive so I will say virtual disk 1 so I am creating a VHD and I have given the name for this VHD as virtual disk 1 I will say save so you can see now the location where the virtual disk will be created that VHD will be created the location is E drive and the name of that virtual hard disk will be virtual hard disk dot VHD. Then you can select the virtual hard disk size. So how much size should be there? What should be the capacity of virtual hard disk? So you have to give in MB or you can give it in GB or you can give it in TB. So I will say GB and I will say 10. So I want a virtual hard disk to be created and that size of the virtual hard disk will be 10 GB. Then the important thing is you have to select the virtual hard disk format. Now you can see by default the option which is selected is VHD and that's why my extension of the file is .VHD. But if I select VHDX automatically my location option and the file name extension changes to VHDX. Now it is not VHD. So difference you can see here if you create a virtual hard disk using VHD format it will support 
up to 2040 GB that is 2 TB size which is given by them it is supported but if you want a virtual hard disk to be more than 2 TB then definitely you have to go with the VHDX so if you want a size of hard disk from maybe 2 TB to 64 TB then you have to go with the option of VHDX but if you do not have that requirement of a virtual hard disk to be more than 2 TB then yes definitely you can go can with the, you can go with the VHD so I will select VHDX because I want this VHDX to be created and the next thing is the virtual hard disk type now there are two types they have mentioned one is fixed disk or fixed size you can say and second is dynamic or expand, expanding now the difference between fixed size and dynamic expanding is that if I select fixed size here whenever this virtual hard disk is created in that E drive a 10 GB space immediately will be reserved for this hard disk the virtual hard disk from that drive and no one can use that 10 GB now for any other application so if you want to store some data or if you want to store some something else on that drive out of that 20 GB drive which was available now 10 GB is now reserved for this virtual hard disk and the space is along with the virtual hard disk now no one can use that space even though your virtual hard disk does not consist of any data inside it it is empty disk then also it will utilize the whole 10 GB space from your physical disk but if you want that as we go on using the virtual hard disk and as of the data goes on increasing inside the virtual hard disk then we will utilize the actual space on the disk then go with the dynamic or expanding format this is what actually is recommended because if your virtual hard disk consists of maybe 5 MB of data then on the actual physical disk that is on in drive it will show the size of the file as 5 MB not as 10 GB so the remaining space available can be used for other applications and it is not fully reserved but there is some boundary that your disk space can increase up to 10 GB and it is dynamically increasing so it is not fully immediately reserving something space for itself so it will dynamically go, goes on increasing as you start using the virtual hard disk space for something storage purpose okay so we are selecting dynamic so remember the options what you have selected you have selected the location where the file should be created the virtual hard disk should be created the space of the or the size of the virtual hard disk the format depending on your requirement and then the type of virtual hard disk whether you want a fixed size that is fully reserved space available for VHD or it should be a dynamic expanding type of disk after selecting this option just click on OK and now the virtual hard disk is created now where we can see this virtual hard disk So you can just scroll down so you can see one disk which is created here that is a virtual hard disk is created of 10 GB we can see it from our file explorer also so what we will do we will go to the file explorer option I will go to the e drive where we have created that file and you can see now what we said that we have created a virtual hard disk there of 10 GB but you can see the size what it is showing it is showing only 4 MB so it is a dynamically expanding disk type where as we go on in uh, inserting some data in this virtual hard disk the size of the disk will start increasing and it will increase till the limit what we have given that is up to 10 GB so if you create a fixed, fixed disk then what will happen the whole size that is it will show you as a 10 GB even though the hard disk does not consist of anything saved inside it so this is the difference between a fixed disk and a dynamic disk so this is what we have seen today in server storage services we have seen the lab of creating a virtual hard disk using the panel that is creating a virtual hard disk so remember that whenever you are working with virtual machines inside a windows server 2012 
this is the option you should remember that how to create a virtual hard disk and how to attach it so thank you very much student see you in the next practical